renowned musician growing up right here in East Tennessee. And now each year, there's a festival in his honor here to tell us about the Louis Bluey Music and Arts Festival. Julie Ald and Chris German, festival organizers. Thanks a lot for coming in, first of all. Thanks for having us. All right, so first of all, tell me a little bit about Howard Louis Bluey Armstrong. Well, Howard Louis Bluey Armstrong was a, a multi-instrumentalist that mm -hmm. grew up just right up 75 from us in uh, La Follette. Yeah. Uh, uh, he was, um, his Knoxville career started in about 1930 when he was one of the people that recorded for the St. James Hotel sessions here oh, wow. that was celebrated in a, in a big, uh, uh, they released a whole box set of all those recordings recently and, and Howard's certainly included there. He's interesting and they, uh, in those days you tended to either be categorized as a blues artist mm -hmm. or you tended to be viewed as a hillbilly artist. <laughs> In Howard's case, he was a black man, but they disguised his race a bit. So on really? the on the black label, he was uh, the group that he played with was released as the Tennessee Chocolate Drops. Okay. Where the Carolina Chocolate Drops later took their name. On the on the hillbilly label, he was his group was called the Tennessee Trio. The Tennessee Trio. <laughs> so they like disguised that. it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, just a little bit. That's great. So, I mean, what, what's going to be going on for those that have not been a part of this? What can, what can we expect here? We have so much going on. We have got food vendors. We have got arts and crafts. We're having a judged art contest. Nice. We're having a quilt show that is also judged. We have the Kids Fun Zone where we have lots of family activities. So there is just tons and tons of stuff. The admission is free. It's a great family atmosphere. Fantastic. I know we're involved as well, which is great to be a part of. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be there Friday. That's right. Living East Tennessee some, will be out there. Yeah. Yes. Lots of music, lots of good music. Mm -hmm. Chris will be overseeing one of our stages. So, so some of Howard's music, is that what we're going to be hearing then? We're, or some, you some know, influenced by? Or? What, what Howard mm -hmm. did was he was a very practical musician of mm -hmm. his day. He would play what he thought the crowd in front of him wanted to hear. Got it. So Howard knew Italian songs, he knew Hawaiian songs, he knew German songs, he knew fiddle breakdowns, <laughs> he knew blues, he knew standards, he That's could play how you it do all. It. And we try to honor that tradition by booking a wide range of, of artists that, you know, to play a variety of styles. Fantastic. And this year we're super excited because we've even added a kids stage where our local youth will be oh, able good. to perform. That's great. So all ages will be yes, out there taking everything. part. So mm -hmm. where do we need to go? What do we need to do? I know you said you don't have to worry about tickets. So right. where do we need to be in times and dates? Cove Lake State Park mm -hmm. on Saturday, September 28th, this coming oh, Saturday. Coming up this weekend, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be from 10 to 6. Mm -hmm. Okay. We want everybody to come and have a great time. Good stuff. And as we mentioned a moment ago, Living East Tennessee is going to be out there on Friday. And that's going to be great to kind of build things up for yeah. you. And Sounds like a great festival, and, and I know we need rain, but at least we don't have to worry about that. At least this weekend, it looks like another dry weekend ahead of us, so everything well, should that, be good. That's working well for us I this know, time I was going to say, it works well this time around. <laughs> Guys, thanks for everything you do. We Thank appreciate you. it. We'll see you out there this weekend. Excellent. We appreciate it.